Hello. God bless everyone who watches this video. So this video is about full-time ministry and being in full-time ministry. And firstly, I want to say that if you're in full-time ministry and you're serving the Lord full-time and you're not working and God's providing for you, then I say, praise the Lord, keep going, you're doing amazing. I want to encourage you that, you know, that is absolutely amazing. I'm not like, this is not a video to bash anyone to, to say that you have to work or something like that, yeah? But, you know, for those that are working, that are wanting to be in full-time ministry and are dreaming about being in full-time ministry one day, you know, I just want to say to you right now that you can be in full-time ministry today whilst you work because you can just start letting God use you at work. You can, you know, to be full-time minister means to be ready to minister all the time. That's basically what it means to be a full-time minister. Just be ready to minister the gospel wherever you are all the time. And if you do that, then you're a full-time minister. I mean, me personally, I work, but then do a lot of missions as well. So I, you know, I do stints of heavy, of working and then stint a lot of times where I preach a lot and don't work as much. And I just do like that. And, but that I do work though, like I'm definitely a, a, a working man. But also with the, with the work, what God gives me and blesses me with, that helps me to help others ministers, to help them to serve God as well. So I can be a blessing to others as well, which is another amazing thing that comes out of when you go to work. You can, you can help other ministers that are serving full time and you can you know, encourage them, bless them tell them you know because these people that do it full time get a lot of persecution so we have to pray for them most importantly pray for them but bless them if you can if you if you know them and then so basically yeah but you can be used in work you can be used uh, in the supermarket you can be used anywhere you want to go you can be used by god and just as an example this week i've just been working on a building site and uh, on the building site um i preach the gospel to the whole site I preach the gospel to the to the bosses of the site and I preach the gospel to all the tradesmen. So I'm, I'm on there, I start you know, doing my thing, listening to the worship on site and that. And then um, there was one guy, we went out for a, a meal and he had gout in his foot and he was like, I don't think I'm going to be at work tomorrow. Charlie, squirrel, squirrel Charlie. He's like, I, I don't think I'm going to be at, I don't think I'm going to be at work tomorrow. And um, I'm like, why, what's up? He's like, I've got gout. So anyway, I, I said, I'm going to ask him, do you believe in God? He said, yeah, yeah, I believe in God. I don't think he's born again, like, but anyway, I prayed for him and God healed him. Woke up the next day, no pain in his foot, gout completely healed. And he started spreading around about the miracle, what happened on the site. Next thing I've got people coming to me all over the site wanting prayer for healing because they've got ailments. So I start praying for the lads on the site. They're getting healed and you know, God's, God's really opened up the door for me to share the gospel. And um, so, yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Like, while, it, while I was on, build, on a building site as well, that was um, one amazing thing that happened. Like, you know, many amazing things that happened, really, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, so I just want to encourage you, like, you know, you can be used full time. God calls us to be salt and light in the earth. This way, Charlie. This way. Sorry, I'm just walking my dog. God calls us to be salt and light, light in the earth. So, wherever we are, you know, we to season, put salt and put, spread light. You know what I mean? Everywhere you go. So, if, you, if you've got a job, but you, you're dreaming about full-time ministry, you know, it's, it's no glamour to full-time ministry. It's hard work. But, you know, if you start being faithful to share the gospel at work, start being faithful to share the gospel... Um, out of work in the park when you walk the dog or in the supermarket just ask god for the courage and just begin to share your testimony and you know pray for people if you need training you can contact us we can help you and and then as you start to be faithful with the little things then god will, and god sees you being faithful with that maybe one day you know the doors might open up and you might be able to go full-time ministry you know you might god might let let you know look yeah i'm calling you to full-time ministry but St. Paul was a mighty man of God in the Bible. He worked, he was a tent maker, 
and many a times he would do a bit of tent making as as we know from the bible and there's times where he hired out a house when the end of the book of romans he hired out a house and then he ministered to all the people in his house so he probably might have had a job there to help pay for the house maybe he got some support off, off other believers as well we know that other believers blessed him and refreshed him so we should definitely do that for those that are working hard for the gospel but so yeah i just want to encourage everyone to watch this video anyway you know you you know you can do it you can you can be a full-time minister right now where you're at at work wherever you're at everywhere you're at you can Charlie, come here Charlie, here Charlie, here you go. right so anyway god bless you all out there in the name of jesus christ i pray amen <laughs>